Hey there, this is Sam from GSL SAS Kids and in this video, I'm going to show you a detailed overview of our uh, new GSL course snippets 2.0 libraries. Okay, so in this video, you will uh, know how you can use our GSL course snippet new version, okay, into this application. Okay, so let me uh, show you a step by step. So here uh, into the dashboard, okay, uh, once you land, you'll see how many course snippets you have used for the last 30 uh, days and also how many domain uh, you have already connected into the platform as well as your subscription plan. Okay, so it can be monthly, it can be lifetime, whatever. So you will see your plan and then in the, the second tab, you will see all the course snippets uh, we have into the all categories uh, selected uh, by default when you land on this page. So you will see all the course snippets and you can navigate these one by one if you want, okay? Or if you want to search uh, any course snippet, any specific code, then you can also uh, type it here. Let's say uh, for now, I want to uh, search glowing, okay? Uh, hover effect. So you can see when I just type glow, it's showing the uh, exact course snippet I was looking for, okay? So you can also uh, see the preview by clicking this button and you can see here is the preview and now you can use the course snippet let's say for example i want to use this so all i just need to click a get code button and it show me the video tutorial for this course snippet as well as the instruction okay so i will uh, see the instruction as well as the customization option okay for example uh, you can see here in this uh, glowing effect, okay, when I hover, it's showing the glowing effect. So, uh, this glowing effect has uh, some default color, but if you want to change this default color, then you can uh, just need to adjust these colors, okay. So, it has the top color, middle color, as well as the bottom color. And also, uh, you need to uh, replace uh, this uh, gradient, uh, uh, glow gradient parent as a class, okay, as well as glow gradient child, okay. So, this class, you will see everything uh, details into this video. So, all you just need to uh, get this class and add into your uh, Go High Level page uh, row where you have the uh, element or the column that you want to uh, show the glowing hover effect, okay. So, if it's a row, uh, then you can add this uh, into the row or if it is a column, then you can also add this into your uh, column uh, custom CSS, okay? And also you need to add this uh, second CSS class into the element or the column where you want to uh, show the hover effect, okay? So uh, you will see the details into the video, okay? So I'm going to skip that part. And once all the change is done, all you just need to select your domain. Let's say, for example, I want to uh, use this course snippet for this gslsaskis.com domain. It can be uh, your subdomain or it can be your any page. Okay, so let's say you just need to select the parent domain. Okay, so uh, once you select the domain, it will show you the code. Okay, all you just need to copy this. Okay, by clicking this button and you are good to go. All you just need to uh, apply this course snippet into your Go High Level page. Okay, so this way is uh, so much simpler and easier to implement any course snippets. Okay, so previously in our JSL uh, Saskir's library into Go High Level, we have a different section and each of the section has uh, the course snippet and to use that to uh, make changes you needed to uh, update your, the code, okay? So now you can change anything uh, that need uh, to apply the course snippet right from the UI. So you don't need to uh, open the code editor or you ne don't need to change any code, okay, uh, from the uh, snippets actually. Okay, so it, you know, uh, it's sometimes a bit tricky if you are not a tech savvy or if you're not a programmer or if you don't have any uh, coding knowledge, okay? So that's why we just uh, tr uh, try to make things so much simpler for any of the user uh, who are using our course snippet libraries, okay? So that's why we built this system. So now uh, this is more simpler and easier way you can use the course snippet. So let me show you the domain management system. So here you can add your domain. Let's say you have a domain where you want to apply the course snippet. So all you just need to click this add domain button and just put your domain and click add domain. This will uh, add your domain to the list. You will see available domains that you already added. 
or if you want to uh, delete any of them you always just need to click this delete button okay that's it it's so much simpler and easier and then you can use it uh, into any of the, any of the course snippets uh, we have now and then the third option which is the gradient generator okay so uh, you know to make a page uh, more professional looking and uh, more uh, user uh, friendly the color is uh, one of the best part okay so we just added some gradient color option so that you can apply the gradient color to your uh, button background or your uh, section background okay so the, how you can use that all you just need to uh, select the preset okay from here we have uh, a couple of different preset all you just need to select the preset you want to use or after the selected the preset if you don't like the color then you can also change the color from here okay all you just need to update the color like uh, this okay and then you can make some other changes like you can uh, change the angle of the gradient as well as you can change the hover okay just by uh, dragging uh, this slider okay so after that you just need to uh, put your CSS ID let's say you want to add this uh, background as into your uh, section okay so all you just need to copy the section ID from your go high level Please and just put it here okay and then it, it will automatically generate the code for you and all you just need to copy this and you can use it and also you have, have the gradient text uh, color option okay we also same way we have some preview uh, here the preset okay you can choose the preset if you like as well as you can also update the color if you want okay since the hover uh, I mean the opacity okay the angle whatever you want and then you just need to put the element id where you want to apply this uh, gradient color okay so it can be your text uh, gradient right it can be your uh, headline sub headline or paragraph whatever you want to uh, uh, implement this gradient code snippets okay so all you just need to put the id and then it will automatically generate the code all you just need to copy this and you can implement into your uh, go high level so it's so much easier now right so uh, the next option is the box shadow generator. Well, uh, you may know that uh, Go High Level already have the box shadow option uh, into the page builder. But why we are making this again? Okay, we are why we just are trying to reinvent the wheel? Because uh, most of the time, uh, when you just want to add a cool uh, uh, shadow into your card or into your section or into your uh, row then you need to put the value okay so if you don't need the exact value to uh, make your uh, good looking uh, uh, box shadow then uh, it will be a bit tricky to uh, apply this uh, option from the go high level uh, native system that's why we just build some uh, different uh, presets okay let me show you some of them you can see when I select the preset, it changes the box shadow style. Okay, so now you don't need to know the exact value you need to put, right? Always just uh, need to select the preset. If you are not satisfied, you can also change the uh, opacity or the other parameter here. Okay, and also you can uh, change the uh, radius value, whatever. Okay, you want to change, and then you not you just need to uh, put the uh, CSS class where you want to use into your uh, course snippet. Okay, so uh, just put this uh, your CSS class, or you can use the default CSS class into your page, and then copy this course snippet and apply it into your page. Okay, so everywhere you add this class, it will automatically apply this box shadow. Okay, so you can see we have a lots of different presets already. Okay, as well as we have the option to change color if you like, you can do that. And then the next option is the button. Okay, so uh, now we have uh, many different button presets. So you can uh, apply this button uh, color or the style into your Go High level. So it's so much easier. All you just need to uh, select the preset, okay, and then uh, put your CSS selector for the button, and then uh, just click a generator and generate a button code it will show you the code uh, let me show you just for example you can see when i added uh, clicked this uh, generate button code it just 
gave me this code. Okay, all I just need to copy and implement this. Okay, so you will get the detailed video for each of the uh, course snippet and how you can use this. But uh, in this video, I'm just showing the overview. That's why I'm going so fast. Okay, so don't worry about this. Okay, you will get the detailed video about uh, all the effect and anything we have into our Go High Level uh, course snippets library. Okay, so uh, I think this was helpful. Uh, to know and better understand how GSL Code Snippets uh, Library 2.0 is actually working and how you can implement the Code Snippets is so much easier now. Okay, so uh, if this video is helpful, then uh, you can also uh, like, subscribe, or uh, make comment into our YouTube channel. Okay, if you want any adjustment or anything else. But overall, I think it was helpful. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.